Let's talk about DTMF, dual tone multi-frequency. Now, the standard DTMF frequencies are the same as your old touch tone dialing frequencies. And on your keypad, there's uh, rows here and columns, and they're both assigned a frequency. And when you press one of the keys on the pad, those two uh, frequencies combine. That's your dual tone, and it's sent over the uh, phone line. In our case, we're sending it over a, a pair of radios. And we're using MT8870 to decode this uh, this dual tone here and it what it does is it turns it into a four bit code in, uh, into a uh, just a binary number here it'll be you know zero through uh, 15 here so if we press a one over here we have a binary one in here and if we press an eight here it's going to be a binary eight here in this case uh, if we press a one there's actually uh, leds on this board here uh, this uh, led corresponding to Terminal 1 here is going to light up, and an 8, the uh, 4 is going to light up. So, in fact, just to make this thing simple, I didn't hook anything. All I hooked up was a 1 and a 4. So if I, if I type in a 1, I'm going to tell the Arduino to turn on this LED. And if I type in an 8, I'm going to tell it to turn off this LED. Now, of course, uh, you know, 8 is the only number that's going to turn this, this 4 pin on. Uh, one's going to come on with any uh, any odd number because it's in in a binary code but uh, eventually I'll, I'll change the code I'll show you what code I'm using right now but I'm just doing that to make it simple now off of the radio I'm coming off the uh, the radio here and I'm I have the uh, speaker here and the ground pin this works for a Bofang, Quangshang and uh, some Kenwoods and I'm just putting the speaker into this pin here this in pin right here now when it receives that code, it's going to give me a binary number here, and I'm going to put that into an Arduino, and then have the Arduino turn this pin on and off. And at the same time, I'm having the uh, Arduino uh, use the push to talk button here on the on the uh, radio, and the mic over here, so that I'm going to send a CW signal back out. And when I push one here, it's going to turn on the uh, the LED. And then I'm going to send a, a Morse code out saying uh, that uh, the, uh, the LED is on. And when I press 8 here, I'm going to tell that this is going to turn off, and I'm going to tell the radio, or I'm going to send out a CW saying that the, uh, the uh, LED is off. Okay? So we'll take a look at the, the code here. So all I'm doing here is, is uh, I took, uh, I'm using pin five and eight on the Arduino for my uh, one and one and eight coming out of the uh, so one one is tied to eight and uh, four here is tied to five and if the um, let's say if uh, input pin eight is high then I'm going to uh, digital write 12 high which uh, that turns on my LED here on my relay whatever I want to turn off I'm doing some counting here so that I can I only run this code t twice and then I'm going to digitally write 9 high, and that turns the push to talk on, on the, uh, over here. And then I'm going to um, send out a CW on ON. So I digitally write uh, 13 high, and all that does is it turns on the LED on the uh, Arduino board here. And then this tone 10, 800, it puts a tone out on pin 10, and that's going to be 800 hertz there. Okay, and then I'm going to delay that for 300 milliseconds. And then I'm going to digitally write 13 low, turn off that LED, and then uh, put no tone. So it turns the tone off on that. Now, that that forms a, a dash or a DA, and uh, the, the dashes are three times longer than the DA. So here I'm going to dash, dash, dash. So that's going to be a, a Morse code O. And then an N is a dash dot, okay? So... I just keep repeating these down here with the right uh, times in them to get my uh, um, Morse code, and it's just going to come back on. And every time I do, I put, I, I put a uh, count on the uh, uh, counter here, and when it gets up to two counts, it's just going to run through two and, and shut off. So I'm only going to send this out twice. I'm doing the same thing for uh, input pin five. so. I uh, digitally write pin 12 low, turn the, LD, uh, turn the uh, LED off, and then I digitally write 9 high, 
my push to talk, and then I send my code out. Now, there's probably a lot better ways to uh, do this code, but I just did it simple here just to uh, to see if the uh, the hardware worked, and then I'm going to uh, I'll probably end up uh, doing some kind of a combination uh, lock on this, so you have to push uh, several buttons to uh, turn uh, turn the uh, LED on and off. But that's that's how the uh, the code is. I'll put that in the uh, description. Now, what I did here is I I'm kind of defeating the purpose with these uh, uh, photo couplers here because they're uh, I'm tying all the grounds together, but I'm using the ground off of the radio, so um, I have everything's the same ground here. So it, there we go. Now I didn't hook up the um, this STQ line, which I should do, because right now it's it's telling me that this thing's on. If I hooked that up, it wouldn't. Uh, and put that into my code it wouldn't turn on but uh, we're just testing it for now here I've got the two radios here and we'll try to turn on this LED so to do that I I, I transmit and press number one it... so it uh, turns on and I get a little CW back saying that it's on uh, we're going to turn eight turn it off Eight turns it off. And we get a uh, CW off coming back. So it's, uh, that's working fine. So that's, uh, that's how we're going to control the, uh, the uh, dual tone multi-frequency controller. And with just this little uh, this little chip on here, here's what it looks like here. And uh, I'll, I'll zoom in on that a little closer so you can take a look at that. Uh, but anyway, that's uh, the dual tone uh, DTMF, and I'm going to use it to uh, control relay, turn some lights off remotely, or turn them on, whatever, or a uh, maybe a repeater. Uh, we'll see what it, see what we can do with it. Anyway, uh, that's uh, the uh, DTMF. Thank you.